I know you've talked about like you used to write thinking like Hove was across the table from, or like that was the caliber you needed. Like, okay, if if Jay Z would think this is dope, then this verse is dope. I, I mean, I still I, I'll still do that with different you know people I admire. It's just to me, Hove is just the most. I don't even know how to explain it. He's just mathematical with his shit. You know what I mean? So, uh, if you had a bunch of professors and they were all like these legendary rappers, he'd definitely be the hardest professor to get by. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like 100%. So, I try to write raps that would get by that guy. You know what I mean? So you And you almost manifested it because you're doing that. It's like, so when he finally did give you the compliment of like, yo, you're... Your pen is cold too. Like, did you kind of feel validated from all the years of work of like, okay, all right. Or did that just make you want to go even harder? Of course. I mean, that moment is awesome. Like, honestly, it, as, a, as somebody that raps, right, we, we all have our vulnerable moments. We didn't talk about vulnerable shit. That's fine. But, you know, that, that part of like the egotistical part of the rap shit in your heart, you'd be like, I'm, I'm the best there is. Like, if, if you don't feel that way, you should, probably shouldn't be rapping. You know what I mean? In your heart, you should feel like, yo, I'm the best. Um, and I think with somebody that I admired and, and, and learned from my entire life, you know, to say something like that to me or just tell me that he's listening, right? It's not because I needed validation or anything like that. It's just this is like a full circle moment. Like I really dreamt of this day. I think I manifested it about a thousand times through life. Like I know Ho's gonna hear my shit. And it happened, you know? That was, that's, yeah. that, that's a special thing right there. Yeah. And, you were, and you were probably talking about it casually for so many years, like people around you are like, oh yeah, you know, but listen. Uh, man, I spoke, I spoke about it three weeks before it happened. Really? Yeah, what three weeks mean? before. Jay heard my album the first time. He heard Up For Days, which was a mixtape. And about three weeks before he heard it, I was sitting in the London Hotel in New York. I had my team with me, probably like five, six people. And the album was done. We were getting ready to start, you know, pushing it and all that. And I was like, watch, Hov is going to hear this. And that was literally three weeks before I got a call telling me, yo, Ho is currently listening to your shit. Like, so I really felt like, you know, I, I, know, I know a whole bunch of things went into play in that moment, but in that moment, I really felt like I manifested something. Yeah, the, pow the power of the, the universe in those moments is just like, there's no other way to explain it, you know? Like, that's, it, it just was what it was. Wow, it was incredible, <laughs> man. It was, it was, you know, you really feel a different type of energy when things like that start happening.